the ancient painkillers of Neanderthals to some bizarre-looking critters from the deep sea. This is Trending Tuesdays. Number seven, seeing frogs. Did you know these amphibians have supervision? Researchers have found that frogs and toads possess a night vision that is superior to any other animal that can actually see in color in dark conditions. The amazing amphibian ability is due to a series of special cells in their retinas. As you may know, most vertebrates have visual cells in the retinas known as cones and rods. Cones enable us to see in color, but stop working when light grows dim, and that's when rods take over. They enable us to see, albeit in black and white. But the rod cells of frogs have two different modes of sensibilities, something that has not been seen in other vertebrates. A series of experiments confirmed a long-time suspicion that frogs could indeed see in color in low-light conditions. Stand-up critters. Have you ever wondered why some dinosaurs evolved bipedalism? Researchers have found that the two-legged trait was actually inherited from the ancient ancestors, known as proto-dinosaurs. These smaller ancestors likely walked on all fours, but ran on two legs. They evolved that ability to better evade predators. These critters had big, muscular tails that enabled them to run faster upright for longer distances. Smaller forelimbs improved the balance and reduced the body weight. Experts say some of these proto-dinosaurs gave up walking on all fours altogether. Now, it had previously been argued that bipedalism allowed the creatures to use their forelimbs for hunting, but that would not explain why many ancient herbivorous dinosaurs, like the Plateosaurus, retained that ability. Now, did you know that some of the proto-dinosaurs could be around the size of a squirrel? The Crawling Circle Alien hunters have discovered what they think might be a saucer-like structure moving along the floor of the North Pacific Ocean, and it's estimated to be more than two miles in diameter. Its apparent motion has sparked conjecture that the object could be under some sort of artificial control and might even be located near an alien base. The strange circular object was located on Google Maps at a depth of some 3,000 feet, and it's estimated that it has moved around 46 miles since first being spotted. Paths ostensibly created in the object's wake indicate it took a route that zigzags, ruling out the possibility of the object being a rock, in which case a more linear path would be evident. Other objects with a circular or donut shape appear to lead to a larger structure, which could be a base with something inside it, although there's no clue as to what that might be. What do you think? down the rabbit holes. You wouldn't guess that something the size of a rabbit hole in the West Midlands of England would lead to a sanctuary for a persecuted order of knights. A series of caverns was discovered in Shropshire that were once believed to be used by the Knights Templar more than 700 years ago. But the subterranean network attracted so much vandalism that they were closed in 2012. They've since been reopened recently, and a photographer named Michael Scott came away with some amazing pictures of the eerie location. You can see how the caves have remained in excellent condition over the centuries, and have subsequently been used by druids and pagans as a place of worship. The knights are said to have once used the caverns as a ceremonial spot, and as a refuge after efforts were initiated to dismantle the group in the 14th century. It's still not known exactly when the caves were carved out and first inhabited, and some even argue that the ancient order may have never used them at all. What do you say? Ancient antibiotics. There's more evidence that Neanderthals were not as slow as is sometimes thought. Researchers have found that they may have been using antibiotics and pain-killing drugs as long as some 50,000 years ago. While examining the fossilized teeth of a Neanderthal man that once lived in Spain's El Cidron cave, scientists detected the genetic material of a mold with antibiotic properties. Nicknamed Sid, the scientists found that the caveman suffered from a dental abscess and bacteria that would have resulted in gastrointestinal problems. But DNA analysis of his dental plaque suggests that Sid ate poplar to treat himself. Now that bark contains salicylic acid, the primary ingredient of aspirin, which wasn't synthesized until 1890. There's also evidence suggesting Sid used a prehistoric antibiotic of sorts. Traces of the fungus used to create penicillin was also found in his teeth. But Penicillin wasn't discovered until 1928, so 
did the cavemen really know how to self-medicate? Deep sea mystery. Was it some sort of bizarre hybrid of a fish and a prawn? Fishermen in the waters of Australia's Northern Territory found some creatures with a bizarre prehistoric appearance. The critters were found at a depth of nearly a thousand feet at a spot close to Darwin's maritime boundary with Indonesia. The unusual specimens had bulging eyeballs, horn spikes, and were encased in heavy scales covered with slime. The weird marine life had the locals baffled until experts identified it as a armored sea robin. They're known to have thickened fin rays they use as feet to scuttle about the ocean floor instead of swimming. They're considered a rare species of fish that's normally found in deep tropical waters. Unfortunately, these critters became even rarer still because it looks like the fishermen slung them on the barbie. Chill by nature. And finally, have you had a bear of a day? Well, we found a way to help you instantly unwind. Now actually, a study was recently conducted about the beneficial effects of watching nature documentaries, and it showed that watching even only a few minutes of such programs can relieve anxiety and stress, and boost your joy and happiness. The study used the BBC program Planet Earth 2 as a model. The BBC's research was a collaborative effort with the University of California, Berkeley, and has resulted in the Real Happiness Project, which is an effort to provide a deeper connection between humans and nature. Now, of course, we know an even better way to accomplish this, and that is simply by watching more epic wildlife, and you'll be as chilled as that chinchilla in the picture. This is Trending Tuesdays.